Hi, you're looking at a kid who has no idea what the heck he's doing on planet Earth. Well, I'm a game dev, and so that means I have to make games for you to play. Roll the title. <laughs> Now, last time we made the game, it was the same one, three videos straight. I don't believe in consistency, and you probably don't as well. So, we're gonna be flipping the script. <laughs> Expect these new puns soon. They're gonna be terrible. So, we're gonna be trying these challenger timer videos. In this video, I'll be making a game in 10 seconds, 5 minutes, and 10 minutes. And a quick disclaimer, this video is not meant to be serious. It's, it's something I wanted to do. For fun, it's not meant to be anything special, and I will not continue this game, remember that. It's not my best work, it's probably one of my worst work. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. So let's begin with the 10 second one, because that one will require the most effort. Obviously, I started the timer and I began, and 10 seconds later, you guess what? I ended. Yeah, I did not get barely anything done. So we tested the game and... Well, the 10 second game. Yay, it's a masterpiece, I know, it's amazing, yeah. Now, obviously I couldn't do anything here, because we only had 10 seconds. And if you want to make a game in the future, do not spend 10 seconds on it like I did. I'm a professional idiot, and I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, let's go to the 5 minutes. Alright, so with this map we have the added bonus of actual time, which is great if I really want to make something. The idea was really simple, an obby. It's the only thing I could make. So I began the timer and I got to work. What I began to do was create those weird stair things that nearly every single game has or obby. It's really weird, but it's basically just cloning the part over and over and over and over and over and over and over. I did not have time to make checkpoints, as if you didn't know, checkpoints are really hard to make, and I couldn't waste time on that. The main thing we got was checkpoints. Now, checkpoints are actually kind of hard to make, but it's no big dig for me, right? This took 30 minutes, send help. Anyways, so I skimmed it and began to work on lasers. What I did was just spam together a lava script and hoped it worked. This is probably the fastest time I will ever write a script, and probably the only time I will ever write a script that fast. Quick thinking from Conan. Then I remembered something in that small, 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 minuscule brain of mine. You know how obbies always have that pick a path thing that you can never tell what it is unless you use camera physics? Yeah, that was my next idea. I began this quickly with only one minute to spare and simply turned off can collide in like four of them. Then, with only bare time left, I created a fade part with a really old script and then made a part for a wind room. It was not a rain room, it was a floating part. Now with 10 seconds left, I took the whole entire dang map and coloured it green. Do not ask why, I have no clue. And then, the time had run out. I think I used it to my fuel potential. But now was the real thing. 10 minutes. The real deal. The main course. The finish. Do you, Conant, do you have to disrupt me when I'm speaking? You really are a pain in the... Sorry, sorry. Family friendly. Alright, let's continue. 10 minutes. The main thing. Let's get into it. But wait! You know a game that didn't take 10 minutes and actually took 3 years? Yeah, that's right. This video is sponsored by Batman Roblox. The best game there is. It's a completely accurate representation of Bendy. And the best part? It's free. So what are you waiting for? Go get the link in the description. Now. It's free. What are you waiting for? Go click the link in the description. So for the 10 minute one, I set the timer and BAM! The timer had begun. What I had planned, because I actually had time to do that, was the 5 minute level, except completely redone and made better. Cue the time lapse!
With the main thing done, I started putting in, you guessed it, I introduce the blender models I put in every single freaking map, please help. So I place them all around the map, terrain mostly. After that I coloured the entire thing again because I'm cuckoo, and here it is. Something I like to call the bacon fiasco. But that will be something at the end of the video, skip to this time frame if you want to see, okay cool. After testing the game, I got to work on this place where you could teleport to each level. Pretty simple. And it worked. And the whole entire game was finished. Yippee. Okay, I want you guys to take a lesson from here. Games are really hard to make. You need to spend dedication on them, like Area Epic, here are some leaks, haha. <laughs> and this is probably some of my worst work. Why did I do this? Eat milk, drink cookies, print some popcorn, and here is some extra footage. So at the end of the game I plan to have this bacon air just staring at you menacingly. But this was a really good idea to have actually. But it completely backfired on me. So firstly, the bacon air started flocking, flopping around like some fish on its last legs and I fixed the whole pro problem by anchoring it. And the second time, the whole body was gone and the head was just clipping through the floor and falling infinitely. So the actual lesson I want you to learn is... Never put bacon hairs in your game. Alright, I've been coined and I'm out of here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.